Hello, my name is Andy Reddick. I'm an Emergency Medicine Consultant and the Clinical Service Director for Winter Planning. We've started to see a reduction in the levels of flu, COVID and other viruses in the community, but our hospitals, GPs and out of hours service remain very busy, so we still need your support to ensure we keep providing the best possible care and treatment to everyone who needs it. We've talked in previous videos about managing common illnesses at home using online advice and self-help guides and making sure you know where to go to get the right health care for your needs. This means we can help people stay at home and not have to come to hospital when they don't need to. When people do need admitted to hospital, it's important that we ensure they get back home as early as possible. Spending longer than necessary in hospital can contribute to a loss of independence, particularly in frail older people. And we need to make sure that our beds are available for people who are acutely unwell. As part of our Discharge Without Delay programme, we aim to discharge patients as soon as they're well enough. And this may be with community care and rehabilitation services to, to support them at home. If you're admitted to hospital, we will start planning your discharge with you and your family early in your stay, which gives you and your health and social care teams time to put in place any support you may need. If you have a loved one, friend or neighbour in hospital and they are ready to return home, there are things you can do to help. Collecting them and getting them safely home is a great help as it means the ambulance service can focus on more urgent journeys. The earlier in the day you can pick them up also gives the ward staff more time to make arrangements for the next patient to be admitted. Also, make sure the person's heating is on, their cupboards are stocked with food and other essentials and they have all the medication they need. Of course, if this isn't possible, we will ensure there is a plan in place to support you. A safe discharge, which enables you to return to live independently in your own home, is the best outcome for us all, so we need everyone to work with us to achieve this. Thank you.